The nation's largest teachers union this week declared that they know better than parents what children need to thrive. That's right, the same idiots who kept classrooms closed and destroyed kids' academic careers and tanked the entire country's report card and triggered a mental health crisis among kids and teens. Yeah, now they say that they are the experts in helping kids thrive and that they know what your kid needs better than you do. Because somewhere along the line, teachers' unions and administrators with seven useless degrees and government bureaucrats who've never even stepped foot in a classroom decided that our kids belong to them. Not because they give one rip about children, but because, see, they see our kids as a blank slate on which to write their left-wing agenda. The left has decided to plant themselves firmly between children and their families. And they're actually so arrogant as to think they can pull it off. To which I have just one word for them. Florida. The National Education Association Teachers Union declared this week that public school educators, not parents, are the ones who know best for your kids. They're not trying to hide it anymore. This is what they actually believe. Educators love their students and know better than anyone what they need to learn and to thrive. This is a joke, right? If educators alone knew what was best for children and how to help them thrive, we wouldn't be trying to figure out how to deal with massive drops in math and reading proficiencies all across all 50 states, largely because these same educators pushed to keep classrooms closed for upwards of two years. If educators knew what was best for children, our youth wouldn't be facing a mental health crisis and teenagers wouldn't be suffering from crippling anxiety and depression because Randy Weingarten prioritized paranoid adults over kindergartners. If educators knew what was best for our children, they would be more worried about the fact that kids can't read than about whether their classrooms have been properly decorated for Pride Month or whether there are enough pornographic books in the school library. If educators cared the most about kids, they would be spending their time figuring out why only a quarter of 12th graders are proficient in math instead of inviting adult men in spandex leotards to teach confused little boys how to put on fake eyelashes. But the notion that we should all be forced to sacrifice our children to this country's imploding public education cult has become a cornerstone of left-wing political agendas. Eric Swalwell tweeted just last week that putting parents in charge of their kids' education is like putting patients in charge of their own surgeries. Kamala Harris has long claimed that my kids and your kids aren't actually my kids and your kids. They're children of our community. But I mean, truly, when you, you know, when you see our kids, and I truly believe that they are our children, they are the children of our country, of our communities. Let me explain something to Kamala Harris, who, last I checked, isn't a mother to anything except maybe incoherence and lies. Did you spend nine months growing my children inside you, watching everything you ate, trying to get enough rest? going to checkups every few weeks, sitting there on pins and needles, just waiting for them to find that tiny little heartbeat. No? Because I did. I labored for hours to bring them into this world, and I'll carry scars from it for the rest of my life. My husband and I were the ones up all night those first few months, covered in sour milk, trying to focus through blearied eyes, stumbling around like zombies, all for this tiny human who was worth every hazy second of it. When my children wake up at 2 a.m. from a nightmare, do they call out for you? No, they want me. I'm the one who helped them learn to climb stairs and pedal their bike. I'm the one who'd jump in front of a train to save their lives without blinking. A good school is valuable and an important piece of a child's life, but when my kids scrape their knees or are afraid of the monster under their bed, they don't call out for their teacher. They want mom and dad because they know that there is no one on this planet who loves them like we do. No one. And I'm not pointing that out because I truly think the idiots who say this mess actually believe they love our kids more than us. They don't, and they know it. But they do think we're going to roll over and take this. They do think that they are going to take control of our children. They think they're going to win. But just like there's no one who will love a child like a parent, there is no one who will defend their child like a parent. So if that's really the fight you want to pick, get ready. And that's your Reality Check America. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube and Rumble pages, like us on Facebook and Twitter, and keep videos like this one coming by visiting mrc.org slash donate to join our team and support the Media Research Center. And as always, stay sane out there.